Kevin here with Texas Veteran Lawn Service. I'm out at a customer's property right now and they have a lot that is 1.5 acres. You can see here, uh, this is the side over here. And it goes way down there, all the way down to that fence, all the way down the other side. So I um, went ahead and mowed all that. Oh, and then outside of the fence from one end here all the way down to the other end of that pipe fence. It's about uh, 550 linear feet. So we mowed all that on the Kubota mower. Um, the zero turn, I use a Z121S, which is pretty awesome. Picked that up down in Norman G uh, tractors down in Norman G, Texas. Anyways, uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to be pressure washing this pit, this fence here, this metal fence. As you can see here, uh, the black is what we're going to be pressure washing off. The tan is the powder coated uh, that's on the fence already. And so they want to paint back over with black again. Uh, what they used the first time was uh, no primer and a water-based paint. So this time we're gonna use a Rust-Oleum uh, oil-based paint uh, for metal and it will have, we'll go ahead and prime the fence first. So what we're gonna use to pressure wash is the Troy Built Flex system with the pressure washer. Uh, this system is pretty awesome. It's 3,000 PSI, uh, 2.5 gallons per minute. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, this job uh, normally requires a couple people, but um, I work by myself 99.9% .9 of the time. So any time I go out and do an estimate on a job, uh, I'm calculating the time that it takes to do it and um, I don't take on the job if I don't think that I can do it 100% oh, excuse me 100% okay here's the outside of the fence there all the way down all the way down there it's pretty long ways so uh, as you can see here it has these little uh, gold tips up here and um, there we go we're gonna paint we're gonna pressure wash up to here and paint there so one of the easy ways to paint this fence we thought about using a paint sprayer but with a lot of the wind right now um, you take a chance of a lot of overspray going on people's cars houses trees whatever even yourself and then also the amount of paint that's going to be wasted from that overspray and the wind the other thing is you could paint with a paintbrush but then you'd be here for 5,000 years doing that so what we're going to do is use painting mitts uh, you put it on like a like a just a hand mitt like a softball mitt baseball mitt and you dip your hand in the paint here's the other side of the house that uh, goes down all the way to that corner so we piled up all those leaves right back there um, I know it's hard to tell because it's not focusing in um, that Sun's kind of getting the camera I didn't think about that so we're gonna come all the way down here we're gonna pressure wash the inside of the fence and then it goes all the way down that side we're going to pressure wash the in the inside of the fence first on three sides of the metal the back the left and the right then we're going to come out on this front side and we're going to go ahead and pressure wash this side we only have one side to do um, so it's time consuming but i'm using a i tried the 40 degree nozzle tip it did pretty good, but I dropped it down to a, I think it was the 15, or no, a 20, the 20 degree nozzle tip, and uh, that one worked really well. Um, it's all the same PSI, it just has to do with the degrees of spray. So, anyways, uh, so we'll get this fence knocked out today. I uh, should get it all done today. Um, I was able to do those three and a half panels there yesterday in about an hour. Maybe not quite that long. Maybe it didn't take that long. So um, we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. So uh, we'll definitely be uh, doing a couple pictures and maybe a video or so along the way when we get ready to paint and show you guys how we do that. So um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just uh, comment. Uh, you can subscribe if you want to. Um, other than that, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Texas Veteran Lawn Service.